students welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject mobile computing was review of generations of mobile services so in the view of mobile services what are the generations what is the starting generation and uh, and now what type of generation we are using in the mobile services okay so uh, actually in 1877 the graham bell alexa means alexander graham bell invented a telephone that we know that okay so that is only for the voice we are just able to communicate from uh, through voice by using that landline telephones okay but this uh, generations of mobile service will starts with the technology 1g first generation technology in the view of mobile services the mobile services it's just you can operate at whatever at any time at whatever the place you are okay so it is a movable you can move from one place to another place uh, you can operate that mobile services you can use that mobile services so in that view of uh, mobile services what is the first uh, starting generation let's see first technology is the 1g technology that is the first generation it is a first generation of wireless mobile communication where analog signals were used to transmit the data so in the first generation technology okay so uh, we are using we are used the analog signals not the digital signals the first for mobile wireless mobile communication mobile means a wireless okay so in the first generation of wireless mobile communication we will use the analog signals uh, used to transmit the data it was introduced in us in early 1980s okay the first generation technology was introduced in the early 1980s in us and designed exclusively for voice communication so the first generation the 1g technology will support only voice communication okay other than that you can't uh, you can't send the messages you can't uh, view the pictures not at all so in the 1g technology in the mobile services it is used only for the voice communication then what is the difference between the graham bell whatever the invented telephone a telephone is also uh, used for voice communication and the mobile service the first generation technology is also used for the voice communication the only difference between that telephone and the mobile services the mobile services is a wireless mobile communication whereas the telephone is a wired communication the wire has to be con connected and you can't move that uh, telephone from one place to the another place but you can carry the mobile you can carry the mobile so that is the only difference uh, between uh, the telephone and the mobile and the first uh, 1g technology the first uh, uh, generation technology uses exclusively for voice communication so this will be look like this it has a mobile phone like this and there should be an antenna which is uh, used to uh, convey signals okay for the signal purposes there is an antenna will be connected to this uh, mobile the characteristics of first generation technologies the speed is up to 2.4 kilobits per second only 2.4 kilobits per second it is a poor voice quality large phones with limited battery life the phones are very uh, big in size okay so they are not portable means it is very big in size and the battery life is also limited a small battery life will be there and no data security is there this is a first generation technology of mobile services now let like coming to the next generation that is a 2g so i hope you know the 2g technology it is a second generation of mobile telephone which is used the digital signals first time whereas in 1g we used only the analog signals we used analog signals and whereas in the 2g uh, second generation of mobile telephone uses the digital signals for the first time it was launched in finland in 1991 it was started in 1991 and used gsm technology okay the second generation uh, mobile services use the gsm technology and it uses the digital signals and launched in finland in 1991 so remember these points the gsm technology was introduced in the 2g technology second generation technology 
so the mobile phones is like this previously the mobile phone the nokia mobile phones are look like this they don't have antenna like this only the screen will be there and here the signals will be appear and then dialing for numbers that's it okay the characteristics of that second generation technology is the data speed is up to 64 kilobits per second so previously in the one 1g technology you are having only 2.5 kilobits per second whereas in second generation it is increased to 64 kilobits per second the data speed the text and multimedia messages is possible so whereas in 1g technology only it is used for the voice communication but in the 2g technology you can able to type the textures and the multimedia messages also you can uh, send a data transfer can be either text or multimedia messages and the better quality than 1g okay when GPRS technology was introduced, it enables the web browsing, email services and fast upload or download speeds. So, uh, already 2G technology is having the GSM technology. Even though the GSM technology, after the GSM, they added the GPRS technology also. GPRS technology. If the GPRS technology was introduced, then this is going to enable the web browsings. You are able to browse the mails and you can open the mails and uh, you can upload or download will becomes the speed when whenever the GPRS technology was introduced. Okay. So the 2G along with GPRS technology is a 2.5 generation. You call it as a 2.5 generation technology. A 2G technology is advanced by adding the GPRS technology which is enable the web browsing and the email services and the uploads and the downloads fast. That type of technology you call it as a 2.5 generation technology. Okay. Now coming to the next generation in the mobile service that is a 3G technology. The third generation mobile telephone begins with the start of the new millennium and offer the major advantages. So the 3G technology is offering the major advantages when compared to the 2G. The characteristics, the data speed is from 144 kilobits per second to 2 megabits per second. Okay, whereas in the uh, 2G it is having only 64 kilobits per second. But here it is increased between 144 to 2 megabits per second. High speed web browsing, running web applications uh, like video conferencing, multimedia, email, everything will be started when we are using the 3G technology. A video conference is added advantages to this 3G technology. Fast and easy transfer of audio and video files and your uh, 3D gaming is also supporting in the 3G, 3, uh, third generation technology, sorry. But even though it is having all the features and it is offering the major advantages, it is having some drawbacks. So because of those drawbacks, uh, they are introduced a uh, latest uh, advanced to the 3G. What are the drawbacks here? Here the expensive mobile phones, high infrastructure costs like licensing fees, mobile towers, trained persons required for infrastructure setup, everything will be required for 3G technology. Okay, the whatever the mobile phones that you wanted to purchase and that should support the 3D uh, 3G technology means the mobile phones are expensive. Infrastructure is cost. Why it is in, uh, infrastructure is cost of infrastructure is high because of licensing. Whatever you are uh, want to be installed, okay, a licensing fee should be there. And the mobile towers has to be introduced in each and every place so that the 3G technology can be uh, available to the people okay so without the towers you can't get the 3g signals if the mobile towers are present uh, in each and every area you will receive the 3g signals trained person required for infrastructure setup okay so now let's come into the next generation that is a 4g technology the fourth generation technology keeping up the trend of a new mobile generation every decade it was introduced in uh, every decade okay so it was introduced in 2011 what are the characteristics of this fourth generation technology the speed is increased from 100 megabits per seconds to 1 gigabits per second i think everyone nowadays using the 4g technology only mobile web access will be there high definition mobile tv will be you can connect to that cloud computing facility will be provided in the fourth gen fourth generation technology ip telephony will be there 
the basic term used to describe the 4G is we call it as a magic. In simple words, we call the fourth generation technology as a magic. M means mobile multimedia. A means anytime, anywhere. G means global mobility support. I, integrated wireless solution. C, customized personal services. Okay, so that's why this fourth generation technology is having all these features. That's why we call it as a magic. Okay, so nowadays everyone is using this fourth generation technology. And fifth generation technology is also introduced. Okay, but not uh, very much. At present, we are not using that. The fifth generation was started from late 2010 only. Okay, we already they are already started the fifth generation technology. It is a complete wireless communication with almost no limitations. With almost no limitation. It is highly supported to www. That is a wireless world wide web. It is going to support wireless world wide web. Uh, means the fourth generation technology is supportable to this uh, not only the world wide web it's a wireless world wide web the fifth generation technology benefits are high speed high capacity providing large broadcasting of data in gigabits per second multimedia newspapers watch tv programs with hd qualities faster data transmission large phone memory clarity in audio or video so all the uh, high end features will be provided in the fifth generation technology okay so it's a complete wireless communication with almost no limitations it supports the interactive multimedia voice streaming videos and other the fifth generation is more effective and more attractive it is more effective and more attractive it is going to give tough competition to computers and laptops but it will be available in the market at 2020 at affordable cost with more reliability than previous mobiles actually now it is available but it is so, uh, having a more expensive so they are trying to make uh, affordable cost with more reliability than the previous models and they will uh, mostly they will release in the market in 2000 20 hope so okay so these are the different generations of the mobile services 1g 2g 3g 4g so we are using in the 4g and next generation will be the 5g fifth generation technology thank you